Welcome along to the first video in CADPOINT's Residential Interior Design video series. We start here with our template file preloaded, containing suitable levels and key families. As we move into our elevations, we can see this, that our ground first floor is set at the moment at 3 meters 5. Moving back into the ground floor, the first thing to do will be to load a plan of our building which could have been drawn on site. We're just going to use this to draw over, but the first thing to do we'll need to scale this to obviously the right scale. What we'll do we'll select this wall here and I know that the distance from there to there is 16,500. I will zoom into this area and just to check this we'll check that the rough width of the walls is 300. So here we have our hand drawn sketch approximately to the right scale, ready for us to draw over. So if we move up into the home tab and select our wall, we can come up and select the concept 300 wall. I'm going to tell the height to go up to the roof. I'm going to draw on the finished face exterior. I'm just going to select the wall here. We'll come across to approximately there. And just zoom out and just trace over this now. Take that down to there. And here I know that this dimension is 12700, so we can type that in also. I'm just going to drag around. And there we have our external wall finished. If I now come up here and change our type to the concept 100, and just change this to the first floor for the top height. I'm just going to draw these over these walls here. And again, knowing that this wall is 9850, we can enter that in. Like so. So if we ZA to zoom out, we'll now move into our 3D view. As you can see, everything we've been drawing here is in 3D, with the internal walls only going up to the first floor. Okay, moving back into the ground floor plan, we're just going to insert our curtain wall. The way I'm going to do this, I'm going to move into our modifying command and split this wall. Approximately there and there. What I'll do, I'll just delete this wall out. I'm going to move up, move back into the home tab, select wall, select the type to be exterior blazing curtain wall. Select the middle point there. Take that up like so. And that's added in our curtain wall. If I just select that and move into the element properties, I can tell that to go up to the roof. Moving back into the 3D view, we'll see that that's added that in there like so. Back into the ground floor plan. I'm going to add a floor in. I'm just going to run around and select these walls. Like so. I'm going to check the floor properties. The generic 150 floor will be fine. We'll say OK to that and finish floor. I'm also going to add some doors in here. We're moving back into the home tab and turn off tag on plate. Pressing the spacebar will flip the orientation. As you can see that's 200 so I think that's fine. We'll just offset this by 200 also. If we move the door across. I can also place internal doors in the same way. Say nine ten doors there. Space bar to flip the orientation. Like so. 
and windows can be done in exactly the same way. So you can just drop these in around the outside. And you can either drop them in and change the type. Or you can change the type and drop them in. Okay, so now we'll create our 3D camera view, which we'll want to look down here. And that opens up our 3D existing view. We'll just drag these out here. Like so. If we now move up into our ground floor plan, we'll just add our ceilings in. Making sure it's the compound ceiling plane. We'll move back into our 3D view. I can see the ceiling's been added. Back up to the ground floor plan. And I know there's a staircase here. So we can just come up to the stair command, choose the stair type to be family stair, click OK to that, we'll just draw that in, you can see there's that's the risers there, we can just move that to there, and if we like, change that down to one to go, to move the risers out, click finish stair, and this is the existing view now. And that's added the stair in. And what you can see there is obviously the stairs going through the ceiling, so we need to make a hole in the ceiling. And to do that, we move up into the ceiling plan and tab to select the ceiling, like such. We'll edit the boundary. And simply draw over where we would like the cut in the ceiling to be. Move into modify and we can trim this out like so. Delete any unwanted lines. Check the sketch, finish ceiling, and then we'll move back into our 3D view. You can see the ceiling's been cut. And that brings to an end the first video in CAD Point's residential design video series where we've created the existing model.